I'm not going to lie, this question is a lot more challenging, but that's okay. We're going to do this together. So first thing first, we know that this is a vertex form of a quadratic. What does that mean for us? That means we remember our y equals a x minus h squared plus k situation, okay? And then we know our h and k, our h is going to be negative 3 and our k is going to be 6. So we can responsibly write down our equation. Should not forget about your a. We cannot assume that a, a is 1. No, no, no. Um, especially on harder SAT questions, they will always give you a way to figure out your A. So this is X plus 3, crucial step here, right? Plus 6. Awesome, awesome. Next thing, we're given this coordinate, which we can plug in. Uh, 0 equals A negative 17 fourth plus 3 squared plus 6. Um, we are going to find out that this is actually, let me see, so 17 fourth is 4.25, 4. Uh, 4 so this is going to be negative 4.25 plus 3 squared a plus 6, all of this is still equal to 0, then we get a times 1.5625, is equal to negative 6. Then we divide by this on both sides and we get that a is equal to negative 3.84. So your final equation, I know, looks ugly, but your final equation is y equals negative 3.84 x plus 3 squared plus 6. And um, if you didn't want to use your calculator, by the way, you're going to be probably using the calculator that's inside of the program. So let's just let's just graph it over here. Y equals negative 3.84 parentheses x plus 3 parentheses close squared plus 6. Take a look at that. This is your first coordinate, which was negative 17 point uh, over 4. And this is your second coordinate negative 1.75 and this is your answer so what we did is we found a by starting with our um, vertex form then we plugged in one of the values sometimes the sat can say like oh and the parabola passes through the origin what th what does that mean that means zero zero belongs i hope this really helped you